Well, new at 11, the Pinellas Trail is considered one of the best biking paths in the state of Florida. The first five-mile section opened to the public 30 years ago, and work is constantly being done to extend and improve the trail. And tonight, more of that improvement. A meeting was held to help determine the future of the Pinellas Trail. Fox 13's Catherine Hawley tells us where it's going next. From an old railway line to a 15-foot-wide trail connecting St. Petersburg to Tarpon Springs. The Pinellas Trail opened in 1990 and now stretches 60 miles. And we think of the Pinellas Trail as a recreation and a transportation network. And we are working hard to create a safe, connected, and comfortable active transportation network throughout Pinellas County. Officials hosted a virtual meeting Tuesday night, inviting the public to join a conversation about the Pinellas Trail and where it's headed. We are working on completing the 75 mile Pinellas Trail loop. There are only two remaining gaps in that loop. The one to the north extends 6.8 miles and is currently under construction, set to be complete this time next year. The next piece to be constructed is a four mile yellow segment from Haynes Bay Shore to 126th Avenue. Construction on that one will start in 2024. And after that, we have about four more miles to finish and the loop will be done all the way around the county. The loop will also connect to local and regional trail networks, making it easier for more people to access and use for walking, jogging, skating, and biking. And it's already a very popular park. We have a trail counter program that uses infrared cameras located throughout the Pinellas Trail Network that does a, a very good job of accurately recording the comings and goings of people using the trail. In 2020, usage skyrocketed, with trail totals topping 2 million. And that pace has continued through this year. The county recently completed a trail visioning document to help shape its future and make improvements. The public survey showed the need for more signage, including mile markers and maps and wayfinding. Officials are updating signage, improving traffic flow, and next month we'll launch an eight-week trail courtesy campaign encouraging all users to respect the space and each other. Catherine Hawley, Fox 13 News.